Okay, so let us start the second topic, which is structure of small intestine. As you can see that this is just like a pipe, which is made up of several different layers. Okay, if we just try to make it right here in a bigger fashion, that what am I able to see? That I will see these villi. Okay, these are projections that are coming out and only why? Because they want to increase the surface area. More the surface area, more protein you can accommodate right here, more absorption can happen. This is the only reason. And you can have some of the crypts. These crypts may have some specialized cells and these specialized cells are known as goblet cell. The name is not important, but uh, just to remember that goblet cell is able to secrete mucus. And hence the name mucosa is coming from. So the right here up until somewhere right here, you have got the layer name mucosa. Okay, right, right here you can see that uh, only that this much of portion uh, we have seen. Uh, you can see right here, I can color it a little bit so that it, it may look a bit nicer. So this was uh, the mucosa layer and after just beneath the mucosa, we have got the sub mucosa, the name itself is suggesting, which is just beneath it and it has got uh, these blood vessels. And if you're going to see just below that, we have got two muscular layers, okay. So one you can see that some circular so i'm going to just make these things circular so that you can remember them this is not how they're going to look like so we have got circular muscle and we have got some longitudinal muscle so right here longitudinal muscle so we have got this is okay so they may or may not look like this, but just for the sake of name, so that you can remember them, we are making it into this particular way. So mucosa, some mucosa, circular muscle and longitudinal muscle. Mm, obviously it will have some mucosa, like mucosal glands and other glands as well. Okay. Now we are remain with the last layer of the small intestine and that will be the serosa. Serosa is the last layer which is encapsulating all those layers of uh, small intestine. So this will be serosa. So from inside to outside we have mucosa, submucosa, um, circular muscle, longitudinal muscle and the serosa. The circular and the longitudinal muscle, they both are going to contract in a very special manner. They are number one, smooth muscle. So the smooth, smooth muscle. So they are not under our control. Okay. So first thing, second thing, they're going to make a very nice coordinated movement and these coordinated movements are known as peristalsis. Let us see them in our next video.